watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Branding and perception are connected in ways worth exploring. The brand Nigeria is badly damaged. It must be rescued. You see, when Cardi B visited Nigeria last week, the social media was agog with her reaction and love for Nigeria. She was everywhere. One of her posts clearly showed she was in utmost surprise. She must have thought Nigeria was a terrible bleep hole of a country. Is our situation that bad? Oh, it's very bad. But who is promoting the part that is good? Who is promoting the Nigerian entertainment? Who is promoting the Nigerian food? Who is promoting the Nigerian culture? Who is consolidating on the good things about the great country, Nigeria? South Africa, Rwanda, Dubai, just to mention a few, are constantly and consistently promoting their country in good light. Even when you have the xenophobic attack in South Africa before, you say Jack Robinson, they're in Nigeria promoting travel to South Africa. Dubai never seems to cease on promoting Dubai. Rwanda had a massive deal with English Premiership, which we love very much in Nigeria. So the question is, why do they sponsor these movies? They sponsor our movies, they sponsor our weddings, they sponsor our concerts, just to show that they are good and everyone at least to a reasonable extent, can come to their country. Just one movie got people more interested in Singapore, the crazy rich Asians. One movie leapfrogged and got more people interested about Africa, the Black Panther. You see, the US military alone spends about $50 million annually promoting the image of US military. So next time you see a movie from Hollywood about the US military, promoting how brilliant and how tactful they are. Make no mistake, there may be some money from the US military invested in that movie. Rwanda's tourism industry contributes about 12.7% to the country's GDP. It's supporting 132,000 jobs in Rwanda. A total of $30.82 billion was spent in 2018 by overnight international visitors in Dubai a 3.8% increase over what they earned in 2017. Oh, remember we just talked about Nigeria borrowing $30 billion. That's what Dubai is making easy peasy. Well, apples and oranges there. This makes Dubai the city which brings in the most tourist dollars worldwide, with Mecca coming second at $20.09 billion. Our entertainment sector is growing so fast, and I'm so happy about that. But why? It's more because of external interest. So there's a reason companies invest in internal and external communications. You see, with internal communications, they promote the vision, the culture, the ideals of the organization. With external communications, which is what most of us will see, they promote the company's brand to external stakeholders, not just customers. What is the vision of Nigeria? What do we want the country to be known as? Things are bad, and we all know it, but we need a push and pull effect. We won't wait for things to become perfect before we tell the good stories about Nigeria. The body of expectations sometimes has a corrective ability. We need a collective and concerted drive, especially by our National Orientation Agency or the Ministry of Information and Culture to project the Nigerian brand in good light. There has to be a department settled with the responsibility of taking complaints from Nigeria also, so that every time we go to the social media to complain about something that has gone bad, someone is making effort to fix it and ensure that the issues of citizen molestation by security forces, poor services from government is prevented and resolved in good time. I know we have Savicom, but Nigeria must be heard and justice must be served. As Nigerians also, we must be ambassadors. We must always act right we all like Anthony Joshua from his recent victory, but he was resilient and of good behavior, at least so far. And now we're associating with him, even though he claims to be fighting for British. While we're trying to hold government accountable, we must be accountable to ourselves and behave well. You have said it all.
<laughs> is that what you have to say? You agree with him? You have said it all. In total? Yeah, you have said it all. So. Yes. Okay, yeah. so what else do you want to add? Well, I mean, I, what I would like to say really is that I, I agree with you. Nigeria really needs to start to understand the power of tourism, how much we can make from tourism. And then maybe when we understand that, we might then start to plow some money into improving certain, you know, um, what would you call it, uh, tourist attractions, or, you know, or create even new ones. Um, you know, like I know, for instance, in my, in the East, or oh, you call it Southeast now. Sorry. Sorry. In, in the East, the southeastern right? part of Nigeria. Uh, hey, but me, I still see it as East. But anyway, Southeastern part of Nigeria, for instance, especially, I'm talking about my village now. We discovered some, um, we, we have caves, we have yeah, some historical caves. places. And, and the people, the um, elders of the village got the youths together and got them to clean out the cave and now turn it into a tourist attraction. So now they're writing about our cave in our village, you know, which, yeah, exactly. So even something as small as that, you know, you could turn it into a tourist attraction. Yeah. So I think it's about time Nigeria really starts to see that as an avenue for revenue. Oh, I like maybe that. Maybe that. <laughs> I like it. Maybe when they are I like it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. We, we, we should, we should we start to come in because you had an opportunity to see a lot. So let's, let's tackle what you said. No, too much. So, so you won't yeah, say anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let me come in here. Yeah. Um, I feel that, uh, you know, one thing that is selling for us, in spite of all our mistakes, is the Nigerian brand. You know, recently, uh, we, I, I think Richard and I saw someone who had set up a stall. This is in the UK now. We went there, but we saw a post called Two Nigerian Boys. Why would they call it that? Because they know that that title that alone name, will attract. Because Nigerians are charismatic. Yeah. So we're already a brand. Food. Even with our naughtiness, we're still a brand. Yeah. So people are always listening to say, what would these Nigerian people do next? So it doesn't take much to get people on board the Nigerian brand because people... I don't know, there's a feeling in people that they're waiting for Nigerians to do something. Mm. Because, you know, the world An is waiting for Nigerians. Yeah. Even we are waiting. To because yeah. there's too much to capacity something. here mm. that everybody, all eyes are too still watching. So we don't need to do exactly. much to get people to key into the brand. Mm. It doesn't take much. So we need to start to, you know, take advantage of that and feel a little, you know, you know where some people like wearing Lagos girls. I mean, feel, feel cool about yourself. Mm. And, you no, know, that's part of promoting <laughs> the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but you I, see, I when, when it comes to food and entertainment. Yes, it has to be concerted effort. When you talk about the Dubai Museum today, it wasn't there was nothing Dubai about the museum. Mm. Oh, really? Yes, they brought a, Fr a France uh, brand mm. to Dubai. They bought articles from all over the whole world okay. and put and it in place. Mm. So when and you get there, to come. when you get there, you can replicate the word in Dubai. As that's, simple that's as that. it. And so you use it to sell it's Dubai. Mm. And, and so that's why I always have a problem with um, Ekene when she concludes. You say, <laughs> uh, you know, individually we have to do something. Okay. Yes, individually you know we my have, brand. Individually, individually we have donated our rights to a, col a government yes, in a collective. response to mm -hmm. collectively you know, protect and do this. So you now for abdicate us. all responsibility no, to that government. No, like this promoting this brand, you see people, Omon and Germany, all these are individual <laughs> efforts. Yeah. Okay. He talked about, you know, government intentionally, mm -hmm. you know, promoting and mm -hmm. pushing the brand. Dora Kuile, God rest her oh, soul. Oh, yes, she had She that. tried to promote yeah. the great Nigerian people, brand. Good people, great nation. Good people, great nation. Mm. Yeah, that was just a slogan. Mm. But you can key into, look at the, the Nollywood, for example. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. A lot of people now know Nigeria because, because of Nollywood. Of but what is government industry. doing mm. to key to tap into mm. that? To tap into but sorry, that. Uh, Libras, let me, let me try and defend my position. This is how you do Government is providing loans. Let me defend my position a bit. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, I know you know what I'm saying. But let me just say it, You know, I. I feel that, yes, the government, the reason why I, I try and major on us is because I just feel the government seems so far away and are they even paying attention? The to people who are listening, let's at least because do when something you do for that, When you do that, they will be so laid back. They're already laid back. Mm. They say anyway, the people will do something for themselves. Yeah, so exactly. Let's just, let's just have yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with really Liberals. We, we need the support of the government. Yeah. You know, like, uh, to create these uh, tourist attractions, is, we're not going to be the only ones. The roads leading to these tourist the attractions need to be sorted yeah. out. Yeah. The security. Exactly. Yeah. The security. Yes. Exactly. The maintenance. All these things mm. are required. So you and I can wear the T-shirts all we want. But if people who can't even get to the venue mm. or get to these places, and even have okay, a good okay, time come in. Like for instance, I was driving down the I was driving down the road the other day mm. and I saw a man open his window just Throw one rubbish out. Mm. That's okay, an that's ambassador for no, Nigeria. No, 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 just imagine, no, just imagine the slogan. Just imagine the slogan. 
Northern Nigeria, the land where the sun never sleeps. Uh, you already yeah. a brand ambassador. You know? <laughs> we already have some. Yes, we already know they carry last. Yeah. Like Enugu, it's, it's, it's uh, almost Kosi, like this. Yeah, Anambra, you know, what is it? You know, Something so about light. When you people, the, the, the Western world are looking for sun where to come. Just used to be a tourist center. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On insecurity. Insecurity. Like it was very dull in the UK. Now. Mm. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. Um, as citizens of Nigeria, whether we like it or not, our identity is inextricably linked to the brand Nigeria. So let's make it work. After the break, Liborius nails the coffin on an apparently costly and ineffective practice. Thank you.